Another everyday word that physicists use as a specific term is power. Um, it turns out power has a fairly straightforward definition in physics. So for power, we typically use the variable p, um, and it's just the derivative of the work done as a function of time. Um, or if you want to think of it as an average power, then you could do the um, total amount of work, which I'm going to just write as w over some time interval. Okay, so either way is a perfectly good way to think about that. Um, we're also going to see in a little bit that um, the work is going to be a um, change in energy. So we can also equivalently think of this as um, a rate that energy is being used. Okay, so for now, that isn't um, going to be so useful, but you'll see later on that you know, energy and work are you know, closely related. So um, that's kind of all there is to power. Um, we can you know, look at a couple of specific details about it. Um, for instance, the units. So we know units of work are joules, and we know units of time are seconds. So one joule per second has a name. That's a watt. Okay, so um, that's something that is fairly familiar and you hear about watts in your everyday life. So for instance, a 100 watt light bulb um, uses 100 joules each second of energy. Um, another um, unit of power that shows up from time to time is a horsepower. Um, and a, ho a horsepower is 746 watts. Okay, so horses are pretty powerful and that's the amount that uh, used to be a really common unit. And you still see it from time to time in you know, cars and stuff. Um, and so that's that's really about it. Um, power is a really useful quantity for engineering, and it's something that you know people are interested in for a lot of applications. But conceptually, there's not really that much there. It's just a rate that energy is used, or a rate that work is done.